I wanted to ask you whether this will be an only online course or it will be hybrid like online and offline and what will be the duration of the course and uh, what will the course fee be like, will it be accessible to everyone? Sure, please. Okay. Um, so the, the course is actually, uh, like I said, aimed at working professionals. Um, and so it is a hybrid model. It's going to be a combination of online plus in-person sessions. Um, typically, working professionals would like to have uh, the ability to finish these courses conveniently and easily. Uh, but of course, they also you know, would like to engage with you know, industry experts with faculty. So what we've tried to do is design this in a way where there is some self-paced learning there is some online uh, you know, instructor-led learning, plus there is classroom training as well. So this is uh, going to be over a span of nine months uh, with all of these three components. Uh, the, the, the course itself is priced at 5,000 US dollars. Uh, we priced it competitively because we want to make sure that it reaches a large audience. So just a little bit more about the, um, the sorry. I'd really get for this. Thank you. <laughs> um, so a little bit more about the online component. So the university has developed a business analytics fully online certificate, and we're actually using aspects of that and integrating it with the sessions that both online and in person that Jigsaw has developed. Um, so our online portions of the content will be taught by the lecturers at the university, and we'll have weekly uh, synchronous sessions along with uh, those as well. So it really is kind of a, a best of both worlds. It's very structured, so there are assignments that are due weekly and um, some synchronous interaction, but there's also a face-to-face -face component, which really rounds it out nicely. Yeah, um, we've, uh, we've also tried to ensure that there is maximum uh, interaction with industry as part of the course. So we are, uh, there are going to be capstone projects for, uh, for the students to work on. Uh, we are working very closely with some of our industry partners to make sure we have uh, you know, the right kind of data science problems available to these students and uh, uh, you know, students will get to work, uh, get to do hands-on work on uh, real life data sets and real life business problems. So that's, uh, so there's going to be a strong learning through doing component to, uh, to this. Hi, my name is Umesh. I work for Decanter. Uh, just to understand, apart from e-commerce companies, which are the companies uh, who can have such uh, the uh, people who want to do this training? Yeah. So, uh, demand for data scientists in India is coming from a lot of uh, different sides. Um, firstly, we have the e-commerce companies and uh, in the startups that are, uh, you know, there are a lot of startups in Bangalore that are focused on uh, um, data science, machine learning, big data, they're working on products or services uh, related to this. So uh, a lot of demand is coming from these companies, a lot of demand, like you said, is coming from e-commerce companies. Uh, then we also have the IT companies, uh, the large IT companies, the Wipros and the Infosys and the, uh, the TCSs. Uh, who are all trying to reinvent themselves. They are all trying to get out of the rut that, uh, that they are in, to trying to accelerate their growth. And they've all identified data science and big data as the next growth driver. So they are upskilling their existing workforce on these skills and they are hiring a lot of people with these skills. So a lot of demand is coming from these companies as well. Uh, then there are uh, retailers in India who are all, uh, especially now with uh, a lot of online um, co companies coming from outside India, the retailers in India have, are uh, having to compete with, uh, with some of the large global players. So they've also realized analytics is, uh, is the way that they can, uh, they can compete with these large players. So a lot of emphasis is being placed on analytics in, in the retail segment as well. Uh, banks, insurance companies, credit card companies have all uh, always uh, been uh, looking for data scientists and uh, they will continue to do so. So there's a demand coming from all these different sites and uh, we hope that our students will be employed by uh, by any of these companies. Scholarship details like you mentioned here. Yes. <laughs> So, um, so we are uh, trying to uh, make sure that uh, there are opportunities for people that are interested in, you know, building in, in sort of a program like this. But we recognize that sometimes, uh, you know, the cost may be a barrier. So what we want to try and do is uh, make sure that we include a healthy uh, number of scholarships. Uh, so, you know, people who are very interested but maybe a little, uh, if they're a little out of reach, that we can help them there. Uh, but we can send you the details of the scholarship. But there will be multiple. 
my question is to the University of Chicago spokesperson. Uh, so have you tied up with any other uh, the universities or the institute in other countries like this? Now this is a, a unique partnership within uh, not only India but uh, other countries as well as it, as it pertains to the analytics um, space. So um, the 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 um, and again the, the great thing about this is um, rather than us flying faculty over, um, we found a way to do this in a much more scalable fashion. We think so doing some of the instruction online, but again working with a local partner to deliver the instruction as well. I mean, my question was: Have you done any pilot project like this in other uh, other countries also? No. Okay. No. So can you just uh, give me the price point again? You said uh, $5,000. $5,000. Okay. And uh, yeah, and uh, when it comes to this hybrid model that you mentioned, uh, where are all the offline classes then going to take place? They could be in Bangalore. In Bangalore. In yeah. Selva, could you tell us uh, what's the future of machine learning in India? Uh, like you see, like companies like Google, investing a lot in these projects, you know. So in terms of jobs prospects, what are the students that will be graduating they can look forward to? Okay. So see, the, the beauty of data science and machine learning, uh, as Gaurav was also mentioning, you know, it's not a single industry or a single sector specific, right? Um, essentially, at the heart of this, what is data science? It's the ability to mine information from data. And you can't really think of any company or any sector or any functional area for that matter, you know, marketing, finance, HR. Um, or any industry, telecom, government, education, right, where data is not being generated and it can't be used. And increasingly, uh, you know, given how competitive the world has become and, you know, how much data we are capturing and storing and processing, you know, the, the ability to use data and to mine, you know, the, the maximum amount of information from data is going to be a, a very, very key driver of uh, competitive advantage, right? Um, so, so, because the kind of data that is being stored and processed and captured has expanded dramatically over the last couple of years, right? So image data, video data, um, you know, not just transactional data, but just all kinds of data. Uh, the, the, the sort of the data processing and the data analysis that needs to be done uh, has become much more complex, right? Leading to complex algorithms, uh, complex technology, uh, and that's where machine learning comes in. Uh, a, a lot of the emphasis on machine learning is because uh, these are models that learn from data to drive more and more accurate results, and they can do it much faster, uh, right? So uh, not just companies like Google, right? But even, for example, uh, you know, like a bank or a retailer like Flipkart, or you know, any uh, sort of you know company that uh, data is uh, is at the core of is going to need faster, smarter, more accurate data, right? And that's where machine learning comes in. And so, in terms of the, the jobs that people who have machine learning skills can apply to, the you know, data scientist roles increasingly want more and more machine learning. Um, and data science roles exist across not just companies that provide data science services, like so, so New Sigma or the Genpack, these are companies that provide analytics services to you know our client companies, but also at product companies and you know IT companies and uh, retailers and clients, uh, telecom, government, etc. So the, the spectrum of jobs available is really really wide. Are you tied up with any corporates for job prospects, actually? Um, so, so you know, we do uh, we do a fair amount of corporate training. Uh, so, a lot of the companies that uh, we spoke about, uh, we do do corporate training for them. And uh, you know, this, this really is an ecosystem for us because uh, the companies are always looking for people. There is a huge gap in qualified people with data science skills. Uh, we train a lot of students who are looking for jobs. So, we do you know uh, are able to talk you know have these conversations and place people at, uh, at companies. So uh, we, we, we work with a lot of the IT companies, a lot of product companies, and lots of banks, etc., where uh, our students do it. Are you looking at more partnerships in India? Sure. So no, we're not looking for um, more partnerships in India in particular. The, the university has a strategy around engagement in Asia that is multifold. One is you know, students that are looking to come study residentially at the University of Chicago. We have extensive research partnerships um, throughout the region as well. But this is really a unique uh, job development oriented um, partnership that we're establishing. And, and back to the, the why India question, I think that for ourselves, we have 
again, hundreds and hundreds of students that are applying to our master's program, of which we are only admitting you know, a handful uh, each year. And so we know that there's a, an unmet demand here for really all levels of training. So individuals that want to pursue graduate study, uh, and then individuals that want a more of kind of entry level um, uh, view of this. I think one other interesting angle to the, the job element, and what we've seen play out in the US, which I would imagine is going to, to be the same here, is that in addition to the sort of deep expertise, you know, if you're a practicing data scientist in the back room um, you know, of an enterprise, uh, there's a role that is really, again, throughout uh, businesses, that is that of a translator, right? That's helping senior leadership understand what's possible, what are some of the limitations of these approaches, and brokering that, uh, that relationship. That's why project management is an aspect of the curriculum that we're developing here, uh, because I think folks that are in this uh, program will find themselves embedded in companies, particularly medium-sized companies, that need to understand, even though it's not their sort of core expertise, uh, what is possible in this area. So we, we see it as a real core skill. How old is your instrument now, Jigsaw? Six years old. Six years old. How do you have presence now? Uh, sorry? Do you have presence? So we, uh, we primarily focus on online education uh, in analytics and data science, uh, data related subjects. Um, we have, uh, we train individual students uh, in India, outside of India, so we have a global audience. Um, and then we have corporate clients that we do trainings for, as well as uh, academic uh, partnerships, uh, including. So uh, since we are an online uh, company, we have office only in Bangalore. We don't have an office anywhere else. Uh, but in terms of student footprint, we've, we've got students in over 30 different countries. And uh, within India, we've got students in all the major metros and uh, most of the other tier two, tier three cities where uh, analytics education is not easily available. So online becomes, uh, becomes the preferred or the only available method of learning for, uh, for the students. We've, uh, we've trained over 40,000 students in the last six years. How much targeting for this now? Uh, for this course? Uh, we've, uh, so we want to start with a, with a batch of 30, around uh, 30 students in the first, uh, the first time. After that, uh, we'll see how, uh, how it goes. We will probably expand to a much uh, larger number over time. Since how long actually you've been having this program in the university? And what kind of traction globally you are seeing in this data science and machine learning courses? Uh, can you just give me a global perspective also? Sure. Uh, are other universities in the US also offering similar kind of programs and what kind of specialization you have or what unique uh, proposition you bring to the table? That's great. Um, so the, the Masters of Science and Analytics was established at the university about three and a half years ago. Um, we have currently about 250 students in that program, um, but it is highly competitive. So we have thousands of applicants to that um, each year. Um, and the representation globally in that program is extensive. Um, of the international interest in the program though, and you might expect the same, uh, India and China comprise probably 70% by volume of the applications that are coming in um, internationally for that. There is um, extensive, uh, you know, both other U.S. universities and other universities globally that are um, offering various different analytics and global and uh, data science programs. I, I think our approach at the university is really um, driving from two of our core strengths uh, uh, historically. So liberal arts, actually, in terms of critical thinking, communication, et cetera. So we talked about the, you know, the importance of storytelling with data. Um, and obviously, the university is well known for various different quantitative disciplines, um, economic, economics, and other things. Um, but the program itself is actually a sort of uh, trifold of um, statistics, computer science, and then various kinds of business applications. And so we're drawing in uh, individuals from functional areas of marketing, finance, and other areas into this um, program. So about uh, six months ago, we also established the fully online certificate. That is uh, four courses, six weeks in length. Um, it's fully online, and it's some of that material that we're incorporating into this program as well as the master's uh, program content. 
Um, in terms of uh, global demand for analytics, I, I think you wanted to understand that as well. Um, you know, uh, LinkedIn had uh, published some interesting uh, results some time back. So LinkedIn uh, looks at its own data and they do uh, analytics on their own data to figure out what are the top skills that can get you hired um, all over the world. And uh, the interesting thing is that uh, mm. analytics was uh, was in the top. Uh, I think it was the second uh, uh, se second most sought after skill uh, for 2016. But the real interesting thing was that uh, uh, they did this exercise for uh, about 40 different countries. And obviously, in each country, there will be a different set of skills that will be in demand. Uh, but analytics was the only skill that was consistently in the top three across all 40 countries. So that will tell you there is a huge global demand for analytics and it's not just in one geography but all over the world.